Hallo der Blind Spectator für euch haben wir gewonnen und willkommen zurück zu einem neuen React. Wir sind hier auf dem Kanal von Nukes Top 5, falls ihr den nicht kennt. Das ist so ein Typ, der macht hauptsächlich äh, Videos über so, wo Leute angeblich Geister auf Video haben. Ne? Äh, ist immer wieder ganz interessant zu gucken, gucke ich sehr viel mit einem Kumpel von mir an. Und ich dachte, ja komm, machen wir doch einfach von einem Video davon mal ein äh, kleines React, natürlich allein, ne? aber schauen wir uns doch einfach mal an. Ist auch wichtig, dass der Musik und der Titel da ist. Found footage. Popular Japanese paranormal YouTube channel Fourth Wall has found another incredibly creepy video from the internet of an alleged very strange haunting in Japan. The video is said to have been posted to the internet by an anonymous man who says he was exploring an abandoned house and found two cameras that someone had simply left behind. He says that when he checked the recorded footage from the camera's memory cards, he was shocked by what he found. Ich muss ja auch sagen, gerade bei denen, wenn das so bekannte Kanäle sind, wie eben dieser Fourth Wall, ist dann meistens wahrscheinlich fake. Ne? What the fuck? Did you see it? The man Nein. looks behind him, but there's nothing there. Then something seems to startle him, and when he looks again, this time a bizarre, unexplained figure is standing nearby, ah. just staring. Suddenly, the camera falls to the ground, but we don't hear anyone run away. In fact, we don't even hear anyone move. The internet poster who found the cameras in the empty building says he has no idea what happened to the camera's owner. It's almost as if the explorer simply disappeared into thin air, never to be seen again. You can check out more scary Japanese videos over on the YouTube channel Fourth Wall. Für jeden der geile japanische Gruselvideos mag. What lurks in the shadows? Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back on another urban exploration to an abandoned temple in East Cleveland, Ohio. The unique structure was built in 1905 and served as a Masonic temple before it was abandoned in the mid 2000s. Chris makes his way through the structurally temple, damaged Alter. property to capture the temple's unique architecture on film. Viewers of Chris's YouTube channel point out in the comments that a strange voice seems to say hey as Chris passes by. Gut, könnte auch von draußen sein. Now maybe the creepy voice could simply be explained as some odd outside noise picked up by Chris's microphone. Yeah. But what happens next is a little harder to explain. It's really sad that they let this historical place fall apart like this. Es muss stinken. A shadow like figure can be seen in a doorway. It appears to be shifting back and forth slightly before it just seems to disappear into thin air. Chris is completely alone in the building and has no idea what he has just captured on camera. He only noticed the figure when reviewing his footage later. 
So what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. So the type that I had, uh, you can I buy can more of Chris's one. amazing urban explorations and occasional possible paranormal encounters over on his YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. Weird World. A segment where all the very strange videos go. First up, a man named Corey says that he works the night shift and arrived home late one night to find his large dog cowering in the kitchen. Curious to see what had upset his poor dog, Corey checks his security footage. The CCTV captured something that Corey just can't explain. Hello? Okay. Some Okay. Corey's dog seems to be bothered and then startled by something in the corner of the living room. The dog growls and stares at the spot before suddenly yelping in absolute terror and fleeing the room in a panic. Now it's unclear it's what it is so that seems to attack the dog and Corey believes that it might be related to the supernatural. As Corey says he has had some odd experiences in the home. But what do you think happened to this sweet dog? And once again I have to say ghost scaring people is just entertainment but ghost scaring dogs no call a priest to exercise that god ghost right now next up in this weird and unexplained video a german passenger is on board a plane flying at 30,000 feet they look out their mm -hmm. window and are freaked out to see a bizarre shape-shifting ufo right outside their window they pull out their nikon camera and quickly record Offensichtlich ist man aber auch nicht in der Lage, die Kamera stillzuhalten, ja? Das ist eine Luftqualle. Wer kennt's nicht? Oder vielleicht war es ein koreanischer Raketenstart. Eine Luftvagina könnte es auch sein. Und die sind die einzigen, die es gemerkt haben. Niemand anders an Bord? Alter, aber ohne Scheiß, wie kann man seine Kamera so halten? What the fuck? This odd video quickly spread on Reddit and opinions on what this strange flying object could be are all over the place and pretty inconclusive. And I definitely have no idea what this could be either. But whatever it is, it's definitely weird and strange and deserves a spot in this segment. In another strange caught on camera moment, a CCTV camera on an LA beach broadcasts live on the website surfline.com. Early one morning, Reddit user I Survive on Coffee is watching the live camera feed when suddenly he spots something that he just can't explain. Nessie könnte dicker Aal sein. A 
After posting the video to Reddit, curious viewers theorized that this could be anything from a small aircraft to a speeding jet ski, birds or bugs, or even aliens or a sea monster. But either way, whatever this dark unexplained object is, it's moving at an incredible speed which only adds to the mystery. So what do you think it is? Let me know. Höchstwahrscheinlich ein Viech, hätte ich gedacht. Könnte auch ein Jetski sein tatsächlich. Fear of the Grave. Da hinterlässt er keine Spuren. Paranormal Investigation Team Gangua P, which translates to Fear of Ghost Gang, sets out to explore an extremely creepy graveyard located in Thailand. The cemetery grounds holds over 200 bodies that to this day have not been claimed or identified by any friends or family members. No one knows who the unfortunate souls are, and they rest in temporary mass tombs without a name. The paranormal investigators don't explain why there are so many anonymous people buried in the graveyard, but one can only imagine the number of restless spirits that might be stalking those graves. One brave gang Guapi investigator decides to take their investigation to another level by getting down into one of the cemetery tombs and laying there all alone in the dark. As What you might fuck? expect, it did not go, go well. well. A static camera records all of the action as the experiment suddenly takes a terrifying turn. Okay. Also wenn sie es gefaked haben, dann gut gemacht zumindest. War witzig. The Gangua P investigator lays inside the tomb for 20 minutes before suddenly something seems to violently yank at his t-shirt. The investigator is terrified. He jumps out of the tomb and runs to his friends. As he explains what just happened to him, something violently pulls him backwards and he falls hard onto the cemetery ground. That's hmm. when the team decides to just get out of there. So the question remains: Is it real, or is it all just, just an elaborate, elaborate hoax? hoax? You decide. Er sagt immer wieder dieselben Sachen darum. Followed. Italian ghost hunter Inquieto TV, which translates to Restless TV, gathers his close friends to go on his very first paranormal investigation to an abandoned children's asylum in Campania, Italy. The tall immer building gut. holds a gruesome past and was closed down after a young child fell from the top floor, tragically losing his life. Since then, the facility has been completely abandoned. As the Inquieto TV team heads inside and make their way up a staircase, they experience something truly bizarre. The soft voice of a young child can be heard and the team has no idea where it could be coming from. They continue their exploration and make another strange discovery. Okay, what's no? Das ist doch schön. Ich dachte, es wäre die Tussi, die da gedacht hat. Ich 
Hai sentito? Non penso sia... Penso sia normale con tutte queste macerie. Ah, credo. No, penso sto per cento. Già devo sentire questo punto, non sarà più di niente. Comunque un sacco di orbe ci sono qui. Inside one of the abandoned asylum's room, the Inquieto TV team finds a few tree trunks placed in a circle. And then things take an even more terrifying turn, because the explorers hear the laughter of a small child, followed by the sound of something heavy being thrown somewhere nearby. But did you see it? A small childlike shadow figure can be seen right in it's front of you. It's the most sowas you know of the ice and in Schatten immer. It is it seems to be following them. Non capisco se vogliono riprendere questo posto. Allora, lì ha fatto barrato la uscita. Devo guardare qua. Ci sono un sacco di disegni. And again, did you see it? In the corner of the room, the same childlike figure appears again, but only for a split second before quickly disappearing. Inquieto TV had no idea that they were seemingly being followed from room to room and didn't notice the mysterious shadow figure at the time. So could this be the ghost of the child that tragically passed away inside the abandoned children's asylum? As always, I leave it to you to decide. Thanks for watching, please. So, das war dann auf jeden Fall. Ja, ihr könnt da bei Instagram Nukes Top 5 folgen und so. Und äh, ich hoffe, euch hat es gefallen. Wenn ja, lasst gerne ein Like da. Wir können sowas auch gerne öfters angucken. Ich finde sowas immer ganz witzig und interessant. Und äh, wir sehen uns dann beim nächsten Mal wieder. Bis dahin, haut rein!